everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to show you how quick and easy it is to change your PHP version for your website. Now depending on what kind of scripts you're running or if you're a developer, uh, you might find the need that you need to either upgrade or downgrade the version of PHP that your account came with. Now by default, we, we run the typically the uh, most stable version of PHP by default, but if you find that it's not working for you, if you want to change or if you want to upgrade, especially we're seeing a lot of people wanting to upgrade to PHP 7, then you can do that. And you can do that per cPanel account. So if you have multiple accounts with us, say you're a reseller and you have multiple sites with us, you don't have to upgrade all of your websites. Maybe you just want to do it to one. Maybe you're setting up a development um, staging area and you want to just test how much faster is PHP 7. Um, so that's definitely possible with Name Hero. Now, unlike other web hosts or um, old school methods, you don't have to go do, it, do this inside of your HG access file. You don't have to have a custom PHP any file. We find that that's too monotonous, it's too complicated, especially for our customers that aren't as fluent in code or PHP. Instead, everything is done right inside of cPanel. So you can basically just select your PHP version, save it, and then you're off to the races. So let me demonstrate exactly how you go about doing that. I'm going to head over to NameHero.com. Um, I'm, so I'm going to hit the main page of the site, and then I want to log in to my account, and feel free to follow along. I'll click Log In. I'm going to go into my demo account. You're going to see we hit our two-factor authentication. Um, if you don't have that enabled on your account, I certainly recommend it. It's the highest level of security to make sure that only you have access to your website. Okay, so we're going to go in to find our hosting package. I'm going to demonstrate this on a basic plus package. Um, this is the same method if you have a reseller account. You just have to access the cPanel of the website that you're trying to um, upgrade the PHP. So I'll click basic plus. From here, I'm going to log into cPanel. So I'll just click log into cPanel. Okay, from inside of here, this is cPanel. This is where we control everything. This is where I can set my PHP information, where I can upload my files, where I can install WordPress. Everything's handled right inside of here. So what I like to do is I like to just type in PHP as it limits me just to the selections that involve PHP. So it's kind of self-explanatory, but as it says here, select PHP version. So I can select which version I want. So you're going to see once I click on this, the native version that we have set currently, and again, this is going to change as um, this video ages and as we um, continue to upgrade and always stay current at our servers, but right now the native is 5.6. So if I want to change it, I'm just going to click on this drop down and you'll see all these different versions of PHP that I can run. So I can go back to all the way to 4.4 and when we see this happen, we have customers that have some really old school scripts or some old school websites and they like to go back to 4.4 point four and then develop towards the the new versions of PHP. So that comes in handy. It's not used a lot, especially like it used to be maybe even a year ago. Um, but it is needed sometimes. So we have older versions of PHP. Now if you want to upgrade to 7.0 or even 7.1, this is what we're seeing most of our customers want to do. They're, they've experienced PHP 5 for many years and they're ready to take that jump because if you've researched it, PHP 7.0 performs better, it's more secure, um, and your site will just load a lot faster. So of course, who does not want speed? So you'll click 7 and then you want to click set as current and that will save it. You can see now it says current PHP version is 7.0. Um, now at that point, you can add or take away any extensions that you do not need. And um, one of the most popular ones is like the Ion Cube loader. You can see that that is selected in here and it's already on. Um, if you want to take that away, you're more than welcome to do so. But these are extensions that you need for your scripts or um, any software that you're going to add. And most of the time when you go to install a script, it's going to say, hey, install these PHP extensions. Well, you used to have to submit a ticket to customer service and we would have to install this manually for you. Not anymore. You can add or take away the extensions right here inside of cPanel. You can also click switch to PHP options. And this is where you would change your upload limits, such as your, um, your memory limit, your upload and post limits. So you would change those inside of here. So if, um, you, you know, if you switch over to 7.0 and you notice, well, I'm getting a memory limit issue, well, then you need to go in here and modify it as well. So you'll, you'll find that um, even if you modified it on PHP 5.6, well, that's a different type of setting. So once you go to 7.0, then you have to come in here and make sure you tweak these settings as well. Um, but after you're finished in here, 
I like to say post max size. I like to dub, be that be double our um, upload size. So then we'd say it's 32. So do that and save. So once you're finished, it's all set. You're now running 7.0 on your website. Um, and then you can go about your day. That's really as quick and easy as it is. And again, you can go back to if you continue to go to your site like well okay 7.0 it works for wordpress and it works for a couple other scripts but it's still not working for my um my other one of my other scripts that i need so then you can simply click here and roll back to 5.6 set as current and now your website's running 5.6 so it's that quick and easy to change what version of php that you want to use to upgrade or to downgrade in, in real time and you don't have to request a ticket you don't have to reboot the server and everything's done just inside of cpanel if you have any questions our team is always standing by I mean, you can call us on the phone you can submit a live chat or you can submit a ticket we're available 24 hours a day seven days a week 365 days a year we're going to be here for you um, so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed you're hosting with us here at Name Hero. If we can be of any assistance or if I can help answer a question, always feel free to reach out. That's what we are here for. Thanks a bunch, everyone. Have a great day.